Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're gonna tell you what dual SIM is and show you how to set it up on an iPhone with our iPhone 12. So what dual SIM mode does is it allows you to have two different phone lines on one iPhone. This is especially useful for people who travel. Maybe you wanna have one iPhone phone line for when you're overseas so you don't run up your data bill. It's especially useful for people who may be doctors or lawyers. Usually these people are carrying around two phones. Mm -hmm. It's a very useful feature and it's incredibly easy to set up. So every iPhone from the iPhone XS and later can use this dual SIM feature. So that includes the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, then all the 11s, yep. all the 12s and... iPhone SE 2. That's correct. Yep. So it's really quite easy to set up. We're going to use T-Mobile's prepaid plan and T-Mobile actually has an app. So all you need to do is download this app and it's gonna hook up eSIM on your iPhone. And don't try to find a second SIM card to put in your phone because there is only one slot. So we're gonna have one real SIM card in there, which I already have from Verizon, mm -hmm. and one eSIM. Great, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna open up the App Store on my iPhone. T-Mobile makes it really easy. They have an eSIM app that you download. So I'm just gonna type in T-Mobile, and I can see T-Mobile eSIM here at the bottom. T-Mobile prepaid eSIM, tap get, and then I'll tap the side button. So while he's getting some of this stuff set up, we do want to say that we got a question about this. That's part of the reason why we're making this video. Someone named John reached out to us. He said he went to the Apple store, asked about iPhone dual SIM. They said, go check out YouTube, which I thought was an interesting response from somebody who works at Apple. Uh, so that's part of the reason why we're making this video. Hopefully you find it helpful and uh, hopefully, Hi John. hopefully yeah. we can be more helpful than the Apple store on this point. There are a few different options here. Just because we're demoing this process, I'll go with the $15 plan. Tap next. Take a moment. Yes, while this is activated, I also want to add that some people get confused with dual SIM where they think they need to go out and get a second physical SIM card. And that's just not the case. There's no space in that on an iPhone. A lot of these carriers just have apps. You, I mean, this this is really a simple process. It is. Actually, it's, it's, I wish I wish it was this easy all the time to just... Uh, <laughs> to get a new cell phone plan? Yeah. It will be in the future, probably, when they get rid of the physical SIM cards. All right, I've never seen this pop up before. Install cellular plan. A cellular plan from prepaid eSIM is ready to be added to iPhone. Okay, tap continue. So my main phone number is the primary number. And let's call the second number I just added my travel phone number. So I'll just tap on travel here and tap done in the upper left hand corner of the screen. And then I'll tap continue. Default line is going to be primary. So I'll tap on that, get the checkbox, choose continue. And then iMessage and FaceTime, I'm just going to stick with the primary. Cellular data, primary, and then allow cellular data switching. I'm going to say yes. This might be dangerous. If you're overseas, you probably don't want to have this on because you'd only want to be using the travel line for data. Do you love T <laughs> prepaid eSIM? It's like this is like with the ads or the ads. The apps ask you to rate their app right after right you download after you it. It's like I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm I'm a good person. I just ignore those pop-ups. Some people just go right and give one star for I don't do that. For the nuisance. First things first, what we'll notice is that there are Two lines listed here in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. One is Verizon Wi-Fi, which is my normal carrier. And in the upper left, we've got T-Mobile as well. And we should also just add, there's the P and the T labels next to those networks. Primary travel it makes it really easy for you. Mm -hmm. So other settings that we should take a look at before we dive into actually how to use this. If you go into settings and then cellular, you can choose exactly what we just chose. Do I want to use the cellular data from my Verizon account or from my travel account, which is T-Mobile? I'm actually going to turn off cellular data switching and let's force the phone to use some T-Mobile data. Tap back to cellular. The default voice line you can change between your primary and travel number. And John wanted to use a second line for travel and he had a question about can I turn off the secondary line or my primary line when I go overseas so I don't get a big bill? The answer is Yes, you can. Easy. And it'll automatically switch the default voice line to the other plane. One other point I want to make about 
dual SIM is that if you have an iPhone 12 and you want to use 5G, you need to disable one of your dual SIM lines before 5G will work. You can't have both active at the same time and connect to 5G. That's right. So tap back, or I'm just sliding from left to right with my finger to go back. And I'm going to disable my Verizon line. So I'll tap the switch next to turn this line and tap OK. Now let's go back to cellular, back to my travel T-Mobile line. And we can see that it's automatically flipped over to 5G auto. Cool, which is great. That means it's only going to use 5G when it's necessary and when it will not significantly reduce battery life. That's the smart data mode thing Apple was talking about in October. It's not called smart data mode, it's called 5G auto for some reason. So we just turned on 5G and unfortunately, it looks like T-Mobile doesn't have 5G coverage where I'm sitting. I think it's down the street though. So if you're up for it, David, I think we should take a little drive and Definitely. go check out the speeds. One of the last things we want to do in this video is show you what this looks like in some of the other apps that are affected by dual SIM. Let's start with phone. Tap on phone in the bottom left hand corner. And the first thing you'll see is at the top, T Travel. If you tap on this, it's going to let you choose which phone line you want to use. So it's pretty easy. Easy, simple. Yeah. Primary or travel. Yep. You'll also notice that in voicemail and in recents, you'll see a bunch of little P's or little T's or little whatever letters you've chosen to label that second line. That's how you know if this is a voicemail. It's very cool the way that they've built this together. Works great in the phone app, a little bit different. There's an extra step to take in the messages app. Yeah, so let's open up messages. Or do you wanna start with settings? Let's go to settings. Let's go to settings. I'm gonna open up settings. I'll tap back to get back to the main settings menu and then scroll down to messages. Messages. All right. Send and receive four addresses. I'll tap on that. And now we can choose to receive iMessages to and reply from one or the other phone number. If you notice that your second phone line doesn't appear in this bottom list at first, you need to tap to enable iMessages on the second phone line and then you can choose to start new conversations in the Messages app from either your primary or your secondary phone number. So if I want to start them from my new line, I just tap that and check that box, open up the Messages app, tap send, and now I'm sending it from this other phone number. That's how to set up dual SIM on an iPhone. We hope you found this video helpful. It's kind of a technical concept, but once you actually dive into it, it's, it's a pretty easy process to set it's up. It's seamless how they built in the integrations with the phone app and with the messages app, with the voicemail, with incoming calls, outgoing calls, switching data. It's excellent. Mm -hmm. Much easier, I think, once people uh, get over that initial technical sort of hurdle. It's yep. there, it sounds scarier than it actually is. Stop carrying around two phones, people. One's yep. enough. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other question. We'd love to hear about from you about your experience with dual SIM. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about iPhones, phones, and cell phone plans.